everyone. I am going to talk to you about one of the wives of the Founding Fathers, Eliza Schuyler Hamilton. Now, if you have listened to new musicals like I have, you know that there is a new American musical called Hamilton, about the life of Alexander Hamilton. The music from the show is jam-packed with facts about the founding of America and how Alexander Hamilton influenced this. But Hamilton was also influenced by his wife, Eliza Schuyler. Eliza Schuyler was born in Albany, New York in August 1757. She was the second daughter to Philip and Catherine Schuyler, a very politically influential family. Eliza and her sisters, Angelica and Peggy, were inseparable. The sisters met Alexander Hamilton at a winter's ball in 1780. Hamilton flirted with all of the sisters, but eventually fell for Eliza Schuyler, the middle sister. Alexander and Eliza began writing letters to each other. Alexander wooed Eliza with the power of his pen, and shortly they were engaged and married. As Alexander worked as George Washington's secretary during the American Revolution, Eliza became pregnant with their first child. She stayed home and nurtured, nurtured this child, Philip, along with the seven children that followed. She supported Hamilton in all of his political endeavors, but one summer, Eliza and the children went upstate. However, Alexander stayed and worked in the city. As he stayed alone, he had an affair. Instead of privately admitting this to his wife, Eliza, he published the event in the Reynolds pamphlet. After Eliza read about the adulterous affair, she was past forgiveness. She burned the letters along with the memories of their seemingly happy marriage. Nevertheless, shortly after the affair, their first son, Philip, was tragically killed in a duel in 1801. The impossible grief drove Alexander and Eliza back together as they mourned their firstborn. Their marriage healed. But a few years later, Alexander Hamilton was killed in a duel in 1804 with Aaron Burr. After his death, Eliza put herself back in the narrative. To keep Alexander's legacy alive, she interviewed soldiers that fought with Alexander. She reread and organized all of Alexander's thousands of pages of writing. Also, she raised funds in Washington, D.C. for the Washington Monument. But her most significant accomplishment was establishing the first private orphanage in New York City and raising hundreds of children in it. She was there when the first cornerstone of the orphanage was laid and acted as the director all the way into her late 90s. Eliza passed away in 1859 at the age of 97 years old. To conclude, this woman, Eliza Schuyler Hamilton, lived a marvelous life devoted to her husband, raising their children, remembering Hamilton's legacy, and establishing the first private orphanage in New York City.